Yo, let's chat. Hey, my name is Ty, and I believe I can talk to anyone about anything. Today, we're going to do a review on an awesome little video that I had with a guy named Conrad. He was from South Africa. Uh, this is going to be an interesting thing because I uh, have friends in South Africa, and it really freaked me out that you can meet people from all around the world <laughs> in Basically, uh, no matter where you go, it's it's basically a much smaller world. That's that's the point I'm trying to make. Anyway, let's have a fun time and actually I knew watch some this more, like, um, conversation. Like trivia to throw out, but I want to know what I could do better, and I think SE could be used like said, on anything. So, um, um, I we uh, have more. I'm Ty, by the way. Nice conversation. Oh, Conrad. This is, Conrad. Let me let me highlight this. This is the first time I've seen this video, probably even this year. <laughs> this came out November. First of 2018, which probably meant that I recorded it. Let's see, when did I record this? In September of last year. So uh, let's just see. Let's just have a fun time seeing what, how the conversation went, what I could do better, and how to have these kinds of conversations. Not just show them, but let us all talk about the thought process, which is why I do these breakdown videos. Let me know if these are useful to you. Boom, uh, let's go. I'm Ty, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, Conrad. Gotta do that introduction. Hey, I'm Ty. Nice to meet you. Handshake. Conrad? That was good. Cool. Nice to meet you. And Lupa's the dog. Yeah, Lupa. It's, it's Sir Lupa. Nice <laughs> dog. I think I'm wearing <laughs> so that no same shirt. <laughs> conversations we have or like anything that's important to you. Is there anything that really motivates you? Anything like you wrap your life around? Like you have like a philosophy or like something that you strongly believe to be true? Anything like that? That pitch is the standard pitch that I have for when I'm doing these kinds of conversations. Like something that strongly motivates you, something you think you can't be wrong about, something that you strongly believe is true. Those tend to be the most interesting talks. And of course I'm up to any kind of talk really, but um, it's, a not, it's not a bad pitch. And I find it to be a bit more of a shotgun method to start a really good conversation. And um, yeah, I think there are also times where I say, hey, I'm an atheist and you want to talk about God for a while. And yeah, sometimes that was, that's good, too. Just know your audience. And not every conversation has to be about God or, you know, religion or anything like that. But yeah, sometimes this is an open door to just say, hey, is there something that you strongly believe is true? Let's see where we go from here. Those tend to be the more interesting conversations. We get to watch news. We can talk about TV shows if you want to. But like something that like really motivates you, like you centered your life around, that'd be like a really cool thing to talk about. Uh, wish to disappoint. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling bad to disappoint you, but I don't, I don't really uh, have any philosophies that I revolve my life around. But, okay. I mean, that's the one. Of, that's a philosophy. Isn't I it? like that. <laughs> Can we talk about that for like five minutes? Yeah, hit me with Okay, it. so cool. Flipping over the hourglass. Anytime you want to walk away is cool. But so you said, are you saying then that you really don't need the philosophy to live? Yeah, oh, that's a good transition. Ah, oh, that's a good transition. Okay, and again, like I said, I'm 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 learning a lot from just watching these two. So, it's a loose topic to say living without a philosophy. But really, the more interesting angle from this is you don't you can live without a prescribed philosophy that's what i mean when i say that and i think he keyed into that too which leads more towards you don't need a dogma or dogmatic thinking in order to operate in life and, and still be a good person and a functional member of society and all that stuff and that is a really nice way to twist so it's not the first time that i've gone oh well i don't really have anything to talk about i don't really have a philosophy that's a great way to twist from I don't really have a philosophy to a more of a positive claim of actually, and I don't think you need to have a philosophy to have a meaningful life or a, a dogmatic point of view to have a meaningful point of life that, and that is the more interesting conversation. So at the start of it, I think I did a pretty good job in just transitioning it to a much more um, targeted and interesting point or a more positive claim or much more, you know, interesting, positive claim. Let's see where we go philosophy in itself so hmm. <laughs> that's true so let me see that one more time if you don't mind if you don't mind that for like five minutes yeah, hit me okay it. so cool flipping over the hourglass anytime you want to walk away is cool but so you said are you saying then that you really don't need the philosophy to live 
Yeah, the that's life? very, very true. I don't need the philosophy, but then isn't that a philosophy in itself? So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's true. So what would you say is the reason why you have this stance where you don't need to have like a explicit, you know, philosophy to follow? Maybe it's comfort. Confidence? Comfort. 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 Com- maybe maybe a little bit of confidence now that you said it. Yeah. I feel like it's... It's the fact that you're comfortable in where you are. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm even not where I'm. I was two years ago. Two years ago, I was a student in Stellenbosch, in mm-hmm. South Africa. Oh <laughs> wow! Really? I'm from. I got friends in Pretoria. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah, lived yeah. there my whole, not my whole life. I lived there. I, I'm from Pretoria. Oh okay. Oh, oh, oh whoa! I got a friend named Ben Diesel who's gonna love this. Ben, okay, where so, are yeah, you? Yeah. Um, cool guy. I wish I knew some more like local also trivia. gonna take a moment uh, I'm gonna put into the description Ben Diesel's channel he's a street epistemologist really cool dude super super cool dude um, and his channel is called Seize the Thought so if you get a chance to check out another street epistemologist check him out he's also the guy who made the website se-playlist.com se- well he actually it's another street epistemologist who got the domain but it's Ben who keeps it updated. So playlist.com. If you go here, you will see every single new SE video that gets put out on YouTube, all congregated into one spot. It's a great site. And Ben's a great guy. All right. Throw out. But no. I, I guess then, do you think then that someone needs to have a philosophy to live their life? It seems like you're doing well without Okay, it. so all I'm doing now is leaning into the idea of do you need a dogma to live, basically? What's a dogma? Uh, rules that are immutable, or I hope I'm using that word right, um, unquestionable, unmovable, um, from a high authority that you can never change, basically. Unchangeable rules to live by. Do you need a dogma? Do you need that to live? You'll be surprised how many Christians say no, <laughs> which is fine because <laughs> it's it's a weird it's a weird world that we live in. That's why. But um, yeah, I'm leaning into the idea of do you really mean that you don't need a dogma? Again, more more into the philosophical side of just do you need rules to live by? I, I mean, I definitely people do need a philosophy to live. They have an article to revolve their life around living around the philosophy, but. I feel like it's a, it's a, it's the uh, for some reason I, I I apologize about this, but if for some reason I'm coming back to about like the, the believing in religion and so sure. on. It's a philosophy in life yeah. and living your life around it. And married to someone who is a religious person, sure. uh, oh. she does revolve her life around it. So the fact that I can live mine necessarily close as close to hers as possible without revolving my life around t- philosophy. You know, kind of makes me more confident in my philosophy. You know, <laughs> why do you get what I'm saying? Why do you think some people cater towards living towards a, like a dogmatic point of view of life? Like, what benefit do you think your wife or, or your partner gets out of that? Comfort. Comfort. Like I said, comfort. comfort. Huh. Confidence. Is there a chance? I want to throw something out, and I'm just spitballing here. I like to just <laughs> so no matter what. I have no idea where I'm going to go with this. You had we would talk about. I always just like gently challenge it, no matter what. So like, if you told me you like potato chips, yeah, I'm like, have like, you tried yeah. pretzels? <laughs> so like, um, why haven't you been convinced of your wife's philosophy? I guess I always wonder when I. So when I, when I, when I talk to someone that I suspect to be an atheist, my questions become more. And it's something I'm working on, but more pro. Haven't you looked at the other side of the fence? You know, like generally that's that is the that is the the basis of most of the questions. Like, have you looked at the other side of the fence? And because I talk to so many religious people, it seems as if SE and like my approach is very much atheist pro atheism, <laughs> and it's not because I will curb stomp atheism as soon as I have a good reason to believe in a god. But uh, when I talk to an atheist. And like on a one-on-one basis like this, I wonder if they think, oh, is he just some secret theist dude who's about to sell me on God, like real quick? <laughs> Black Ray Comfort. <laughs> I always I always get a little bit more squeamish when I have a conversation with someone who's uh, an atheist because I feel like the suspicion is automatically that I'm out to proselytize and convert people compared to like a theist where I feel is a little bit more used to or 
comes at it with such blind bravado. <laughs> they're, they're just like, oh, well, I can't wait to tell you all about the things that I know. Oh, no, it's falling apart. Oh. <laughs> That clip is going to be used against me for sure. I don't care. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, guys. Let's go. Um, anyway, so uh, the basis behind this is I feel a little squeamish asking atheist questions about looking over the other side of the fence because I don't want to appear. To f- I I don't I don't like the idea of appearing that I'm trying to sell them idea. It feels like it takes away some of the genuine aspect of this common conversation. But I guess I'm overthinking it. Um, I probably roll into it. But if you are having these, com- if you are having a conversation with an atheist, don't go easy on them. That's the, that's the main point. Don't go easy. Don't go easy on atheists if you're an atheist. Don't go easy on atheists. I'm probably spelling that wrong. Theus? Really? Atheists? Oh, man, I'm going to have to look this up. I'm going to have to look this up. (laughs) Don't go wrong. (laughs) All right. It's either it's either this theist or a theist. I feel like I feel like this is right. Theist. Don't go easy on atheists. You know what? I'm going to just be fair. No, I'm going to I was I was going to say I was going to do this SP. But you know what? I'm just going to embrace it. Don't go easy on atheists. Don't. Also, don't go easy on theists. Theists. Right? Theists. Uh, SC's not, doesn't belong to atheists. SC doesn't belong to theists. It's an equal opportunity means of talking to people. And as such, you shouldn't go easy on them. Doesn't mean go hard just means don't go easy on them and so questions like these are fair game all right anyway then because you've only been married for a year and a half and uh, <laughs> i've only known her fuck i've known her haven't you been convinced of your wife's philosophy i guess then because you've only been married for a year and a half and uh, <laughs> i've only known her fuck i've known her for five years which is a really good thing but, yeah that's good uh, <laughs> we've known each other for a long time I'm married only two years and i mean you never know what happens. I mean, I always say, you know, you have to open up your heart 100% to get there. So that's probably the reason why I haven't, because I have to open my heart 100% to get there. If you open up your li- your heart 100% and does, does yeah, I'm getting that necessarily make stuff her here. belief true? Like, would you would you want to believe it if it was true? Like, is that like the limiter? Oh, he's thinking. Say you open up your heart and you and you believe it, but then you realize it's not true. Would you still keep believing it? Oh no, definitely not. No, no, that's living a lie, <laughs> oh. which is not living around philosophy of being confident in yourself and comfortable because you're not comfortable right there. So okay, okay, yes, okay. So, you know, you don't live in an uncomfortable place. I mean, I'm not gonna to believe in something just because someone else that puts me in an uncomfortable place. You know. Then how do you figure out if something is true and if something's not yeah, true? Yeah, see, if you open up your heart 100, percent which is that a good reliable way to figure out if something's true? Yeah, he's going back to the argument for faith. Oh, oh. You see, that's the big argument. You know, it's like does it because that's what I tell myself as well all the sure. time. Sure, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So that, that is a big argument, and you're totally correct. It, just believing in it 100% doesn't make it true. So, mm. you know, that's where the whole problem with does he exist, does he not exist come from, you know? Sure, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because you believe in them 100%. Is, do you think, I don't know is a good answer for that, at least for now? <laughs> I feel like that should be forever until you get <laughs> <until you, laughs> oh, my you kind of guy. <laughs> Even if I meet him, I feel like there could be a hallucination, right? Like, <laughs> Well, like, oh, already, what is so <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so the way how I think about it, and I'm just throwing this out, like if I had a coin, right? Coin and I flip it, and it's heads or tails, and it's on the back of my hand, and I don't know if it's heads or tails. Do you know if it's heads or tails? I think it's heads. You think it's heads? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, you can think about it whatever you want. This is America. You can think whatever you want. But, like, thinking about it doesn't make it more likely to be heads, it doesn't, right? It doesn't, exactly. Right. So I think at this point, until we have better information, I don't know might be the best answer. Exactly. That's my philosophy. What do you think about that? Oh, that, that's definitely a good philosophy because that's what I always say. It's uh, my philosophy in this, and we did start off with this, and I told you I have nothing but my philosophy in that, not in life, is if I live a good life mm. at the same principles and the same values without following. Them. Right. I understand you what you're saying? saying. Yeah, I get it. Same principles, same values. Without letting someone else think for you. 
Yes, exactly. Yeah. There yeah. you go. And I said, like, what should I have to lose then? Because I haven't vehemently rejected. Mm. Yes, I have not uh, <laughs> um, graciously accepted <laughs> mm. <laughs> either point of view. I'm more in the middle. But then the person in the middle can't always be a winner. You know, you have to. It's a very confusing stance. And it makes everyone kind of, like, nervous because anybody can be in the middle then. Why exactly. Would everybody be in the middle then. Yeah. He's definitely working it out as he's talking, and I'm just giving him the opportunity to do that. Also, while I got this pause, I also want to make a note that I have, in this video, set up in the shade. As you can see, uh, there's a bunch of shade here, shade here. That is prime location because uh, it's a great way to have sell the a nice place to sit down, like in the shade, particularly on a walking path. And I feel like it pops makes or maybe it either makes the care the people in the video pop a little bit more or uh makes the background just not bleed into the foreground a little bit it just helps the contrast a little bit i feel like the as far as like a technical work it's it technically it's i think this is one of the best that i've done uh as far as just like inadvertent lighting but you know um those are like, how do you get how how much do you guys want to talk about like the technical aspects of recording a video? I might make a special video for that, but let's just keep it on the philosophy for right now, um, and the SE uh, techniques. I'm letting him work this out because he's definitely thinking aloud, and I think it's for the better because it he's going from you got to believe it with your heart to actually I wouldn't believe it if I knew it was true. That's living a lie. So now what do I have left? Uh, I have to think about what's important to me. I don't want to live by things that have rules or by other people's rules. I want to live by my rules. And yeah, I think these are, these are interesting points of views that he's, he's letting bubble up to the top and I'm just giving him the opportunity to, to work them out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to choose a side and I'm still in the middle and I should choose a side. I feel but like I don't you don't to. have to choose a side. Why do you have to choose a side? Because then you're going to live in your life always looking at both sides and being like, oh, you don't know. It's always a little bit of oh, ha, he, ho, ho, ha. I'd love to hear what you think about this from my perspective. If I only care about believing in true things, I'm only going to wait in that middle ground until someone has better evidence. I yeah. think that's the most valid place to be. But that said, there's a third point then. There's oh. no middle then. Oh. Because then you have to because middle means that there is a truth to both sides don't you think there's a side mm. to both sides okay so he's saying basically by saying that you're not okay but he said okay i think we're interpreting middle differently and i probably could have worked a little bit better to define what i meant by middle but when i say i don't know who's right like say there's two people arguing and they're saying i'm i'm correct and the other person's saying i'm correct and i'm standing in the middle it's like i don't know which of you guys are right i will wait in the middle until one of you guys have a point. That's what I meant by middle. So like I'm not picking a side. I think saying I don't know is the best answer until the person who thinks they're right presents me with the better evidence or at least, you know, some reliable method to get there. And I believe he interprets middle as okay, well both of you guys are right, but I don't know who I'm more compelled to believe in more at the moment. And I think I am not saying they could both be wrong. My opinion is the two people who say they're right, they could both be wrong. But I'm still saying I don't know is the best answer until we have evidence. So right, wrong, who knows? I'm fine with I don't know as an answer. And it doesn't mean that I'm giving any of them a credible, you know, uh, stake in any sort of race. And I can see how that agnostic position is a little more nuanced uh, uh, than what's commonly understood. And it's worth describing Maybe to a little bit more detail. Maybe that's an example I could work on more. Thus, you can decide and know which side it is, which the third place would be. I know I want to explain. There's no facts to back up either side. So, just so I get this right, let's summarize. <laughs> there's a chance that both sides might be wrong, like yeah. the both extremes might be completely wrong, right. and that the most intellectually honest position is just the, hey, I don't know until I have better evidence. Which is true, and that's the third ground, which and is that's not on fence. But then there would be a fence for both sides as well. So <laughs> <laughs> but if if we can agree that I don't know is the better answer, then that means we don't have to pick a side, and that's why that defeats the appeal to desperation. So I think <laughs> I think we're just <laughs> <having> <laughs> <some> <laughs> <time>. <laughs> okay. So we're out of time. 
but I appreciate it. Of course, like, man. Conrad, thank you so much. It was a great having this chat with you. Yes, man. Oh, wait, um, time? Yeah, nice. yeah. If, if you want, good job. If you want, you can take a card. I got, I put up all the rest of the videos that I have with other people. Yo, like okay. So, out. yeah, that was a fun, that yeah. was a fun chat. Let's see. Thanks, what man. things did we take one. away from that? Um, <laughs> one, gotta set up in the shade. Set up in the shade. Shade is primo real estate for SE, especially if you have a table. It's really good. Or invest in some shade. Get some shade on there. Uh, oh, this is Ben's channel, by the way. I'm putting a link in the description. Check out Ben Diesel's Seeds of Thought. Uh, I've never seen a guy more smooth and uh, talking to people than this dude. Also, he is situated in South Africa. So... Um, international SE. We have a worldwide effect going on. It's really amazing. And then third thing, let's see. Um, okay, so I would also say we transitioned from, ah, I don't really think I got a philosophy, to I don't think I need to have a philosophy. And I feel like this is one of the weird, the, the, the conversations that I've had that's sort of rare where the person leaves the table a lot more confident than they were at the beginning because before it was a little wishy-washy like ah, i don't know if i really have a philosophy to believe in but you know maybe that's a philosophy in itself to leaving was like no i want to believe my own rules i i don't want to believe things that aren't true i don't think faith is a good way to go about things i don't think uh, desperation is a good way to go about things maybe i don't know is the better answer that's a good sc conversation and it can happen in as short as five minutes listen guys i'm here if you want to know, I'll be here every week posting out new videos for you guys. Breakdowns, conversations I've had. Um, we got podcasts. We got a radio show coming up. There's other people doing these talks too. And listen, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to check out my Patreon page. You don't need to do this. I'm doing this. I'm, do I'm locked in. This is fun. Too fun for me to quit. I'm going to be here regardless. But... There are a lot of other people who do SE, and I think if you enjoy these kinds of videos, you should give them some love too. So check out se-playlist.com. Links in the description. See all the other kinds of people who are doing this. Check out Ben Diesel's channel, you know? Let's focus on Ben. He is a cool SE dude, and I want more people to know about him. But also, we got Reed Nice Wonder. We got Gannon Truman. Well, we got a lot. We got so many amazing people who are all working on finding a better way of talking to people about what they believe. And uh, I think you can too. See you guys next time.